so glad to have you here. You wanna turn on the swing? She got approval for one day a week to work from home. It's very exciting. Corona. I like that breast pump in the background, it's really nice. Beautiful office decor. <laughs> I, I just use it on my breaks, okay? <laughs> Little guy is still sleeping. I was cuddling with him in bed this morning and he stayed asleep, so he's just up there chilling in our bed. Don't worry, we've got our eye on him. Oh, you see your brother? He's so cute, huh? You want to say good morning to your friends? A good morning. No, just steal a mama's water cup. It's okay, it broke yesterday. You can have it now. Oh, is that your train? It goes chug a 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 choo choo. Yeah, just like that. Chug a chug a chug a chug. Uh oh, it fell down. Where are you gonna drive your train? On your leg. Chug a 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 choo choo. Now, where are you gonna drive your train by your farm? <laughs> That's quite a noise, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Did it squish your hand? I try to change what toys I put out here each couple days, and she hasn't had the farm in a while, so we're reintroducing it, and it was just fun again this morning. That's your train. Where's the cow that goes in it? Do you see the cow? <laughs> you got your cow. That's right. That cow came in that little farm set. Yeah. Oh, you're right. There's a cow in your barn, too. Good job. You have two cows. Two cows. Now, do you want to come sing that song again? I don't remember all of it. Actually, somebody liked all the Friends references the other day. Jennifer. <laughs> she said, nice Friends references. Like them. It's something about cow in the meadow goes moo. Then the farmer hits it over the head with a hammer. <laughs> and that's how we get hamburgers. <laughs> oh, the cow in the meadow goes moo. Oh, the cow in the meadow goes moo. Then the farmer hits him on the head and grinds him up. And that's how we get hamburgers. <laughs> The cow in the meadow goes moo. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I promise she wants to do this over. Yep. <laughs> you can't just do it once and walk away. That's too fun. Oh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. Can you say again? Please. <laughs> Ippy. <laughs> Back to work she goes. Cow in the middle goes <laughs> Well, this kid's got the crazies already. It's too early for a nap. And this guy finally woke up. Say good morning, Brooks. My phone is vibrating. Hello? Hi, is this Lizzie Kelly? Yes. Ooh, I haven't seen myself on the camera yet today. Sorry, guys, haven't even done my ponytail from bed. Oh, it's okay, buddy. He's tired. Well, that phone call was my midwife. Today was supposed to be my six week postpartum checkup. But with all this COVID stuff, I asked her if we could wait and I could just come in after this is chilled out. So we did kind of like a phone consult, all the questions and things that she would have asked me if we were there. And um, I'll just go in once this COVID mess is all over with. So that was really nice. I did not want to have to take the kids to the hospital. It was nice that Nellie was going to be home if I did have to go, that I wouldn't have to take them. But I'd rather not leave her with two children right now. So, I am thankful that my midwife was nice enough to do a phone consult instead. Nellie, however, has been a human jungle gym for the last 20 minutes while I was on the phone. <laughs> she couldn't even go pee by herself. Everly wanted to go with her. She's just been 
playing and climbing and yelling. Let me and just tell you how different this is than when I come home from work. Because <laughs> on a normal day when I come home, she wants nothing to do with me. That's, I mean, usually she and I have been together all day. Nellie just comes home for like the last hour or two that she's awake. But yeah, usually in the evening she's clingy to me. So this is very nice. It looks like her booty is just like straight on your face. <laughs> So it's really nice that you guys get to play right now. Except I got some works to do. Nah, work schmirk. It's almost your lunch time at work. <laughs> Aw, buddy. Are you so tired? I think he was half asleep while I was on the phone and then woke up. Sorry, mister. Updates, guys. Good times. You want to show them your lunch pumpkin? Yeah, baby girl had a pretty good nap. Now she's having some lunch. Mama's still working over here. <laughs> baby boy is sleeping again. He actually woke up for a little bit, ate, and now he's napping another time. That's not food, baby. That's yucky. <laughs> she has this Shisa dog. No, no, not food. The Shisa dog has been on the dryer, and uh, she just found it and wanted to eat lunch next to it. Okay, eat your lunch. Mama made you, I almost said grilled cheese. That's not true. Mac and cheese. Yeah, that's a dog. Do you want me to hold it? Macaroni and cheese. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> she had goldfish for lunch. She's having mac and cheese, and I had cheese and crackers. <laughs> so we're all three having cheese and carbs, but in different forms. <laughs> What you doing in there, Mama? <laughs> Was that an entire spoonful? <laughs> I'm not surprised. I am a little jealous, though. Maybe I'll make myself a little baby bowl. So the difference between Nellie and myself in eating is that she will snack like that. She'll just have a bite and then go away, and then have a bite and then go away. I would rather make a bowl and sit down and, like, enjoy it. The calories don't count. When you sneak them, then <laughs> away. If you make a whole bowl, then uh -huh. you're, that's when the calories count. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, clearly it works for you because you're the skinny one. It does not work for me. <laughs> Especially not running lately. Yeah, still not running. She did go to the doctor the other day, and the doctor pretty much said nothing. Gave her some stretches. Oh, this has money on it. Good. I just wasn't typing in the right numbers. That is correct. Great. Did you put it in our Amazon wallet? No. I think you can apply it to the account. We had this Amazon gift card, and I didn't think it had money on it, but I was just typing in the wrong numbers. So now we can spend 50 more dollars because I already know what I need to buy with it. We actually placed a pretty big Amazon order last week, week and a half ago. If you have an Amazon baby registry, within 60 days before and after the baby's due date, you get 15% off. I said baby. You get 15% off anything on your registry that's not purchased. You want to see? There you go. You can see yourself. I know. You're real sweet with that cheese all over. <laughs> So now that Brooks is here, we just went ahead and stacked the registry with things that we wanted for Everly. A little bit for Brooks and actually a little bit for myself, but mostly for Everly. I got some sensory bin stuff like I was talking about. We got her a new naptime diaper. We got her a little baby potty that we're gonna try to potty train her on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Anyway, so we have some pretty good Amazon stuff that's on the way. I'm super excited. I'll show it to you guys when it comes. But we had a pretty big order that we placed. Um, we usually do like small orders, but now we have this gift card so we can buy a few more things that I forgot or have thought of since we placed that order and we can have $50 for free. What are you doing, silly girl? <laughs> I got Brooks out of that bouncer. She took the blanket, covered herself, turned the sound machine back on. You wanna, oh, you wanna take a nap in there? Buddy, you used to. You want to turn it on? Uh, on. Okay, good night. Night, night, baby. I love you. Night, night. Good night, bye. She's like, no, there's no sound machine. I can't. 
<laughs> You're cute. Good night. Are you pretending? You sleeping girl. You have such a pretty face, girly. Good night. <laughs> well, Nelly dressed. Look at your little hands. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nelly dressed Brooks in this really cute outfit with a little wiener dog on it and a whole bunch of tiny wiener dogs. And he just took a nap in it and then... Oh, he got mustard on the back. <laughs> we didn't tell that pooper mustard story, did we? We weren't vlogging that day? <laughs> Speaking of mustard, slash baby poop. So one night, a couple weeks ago, Nelly made hot dogs for dinner and we had mustard on them. And as I sat down to nurse Brooks at the table, I stuck my hand and what I was questioning was either mustard or baby poop. And it turned out to be baby poop. Buddy. It's so great for our viewers. I know. There it is. See? Mustard right there. Yeah. So now we have to change him out of this cute outfit. I'm disappointed because I really wanted him to wear it in this video. Well, we made our way outside. Girls actually got a whole outfit on, shoes and bow and everything. We haven't been this dressed in a while. We got little guy in a different outfit with monkeys on it. Still cute, just uh, not the wiener dogs. They had to be spray and washed. Everly looks very interested in whatever Shepard's chewing on. A naked tennis ball, we think. I remembered this is the same outfit she was wearing in Brooks's name reveal video. Are you trying to take me somewhere? And that was back in like January. So she's been in the shirt for a while. She also was wearing that shirt when she met him at the hospital for the first time when he was one day old. So that shirt has seen lots of Brooks memories. Nellie just started picking weeds while she's just hanging out out here and then Everly bent down and started to move leaves and flowers too, just to be like mama. Okay, well I may regret this, but I'm gonna try another Pinterest project. I got it off Instagram, but you know, I'm gonna call it Pinterest anyway. If you saw two vlogs ago, then I tried to make moon dough and it was a complete failure. This time I'm gonna make the product without Everly and then I'll just take it out and see if she wants to play with it. So maybe that will make it better. Also, this one involves like suds, bubbles, and she loves bubbles in the bathtub. So we'll see, I don't know. Here it goes. This is called Bubble Foam. All it is is water, and I'm using a tear-free, like, kid shampoo, but you can use anything, like Dawn or whatever soap that you want. Soap, baby shampoo, whatever. So here goes nothing. It is one cup of water, large mixing bowl, and two tablespoons of tear-free baby shampoo. They recommend using tear-free just in case this foam gets in their eyes. I have lots of these little travel ones that we got for baby showers and stuff, so that's what we're using. You can add food coloring to it. I'm not going to because I don't want this to get on her clothes, but that's optional. Then you mix it with a mixer for about 30 seconds on high until it forms stiff peaks. And there you go, stiff peaks. So this bowl is the bubble foam. I brought out her sensory <laughs> bin <laughs> and I just put some kitchen tools in it and then she has these little like beach shovels and things. <laughs> you wanna play? Look, baby, there's bubbles over here. You see the bubbles? You wanna scoop it with your shovel? Whoa. You can put it in here. Whoa. Oh, already wiping it off. You want this? Bubbles. I'm gonna bring my chair over. And so far, the tools are a bigger hit than the bubbles. Look, you don't want to scoop the bubbles? Do you want to touch? She likes bubbles in the bathtub. I don't understand how this is different. Oh, there you go. Mix it. No, she's trying to dump it out. <laughs> she doesn't want it. Mix it. No? What if, like on your hand, would she play with it? Like in the back? Yeah, okay, it's bubbles. You like it? They're soft. Bubbles. <laughs> you want to play with this cup? Come here. You stop that. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> yep. That's okay. It's all right. We'll clean it off. It's okay. Is she playing or saying all done? I can't tell. <laughs> Scoop it. Mix it. Fling it. You do it, not me. <laughs> She's putting it on Shepard. Careful. Ooh, bub. I don't need it. <laughs> Bubbles. Bubbles. Tear free, huh? Was it flavor free too? I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, Johnson and Johnson. Make it flavored for my 18 month old. <laughs> well, I would say this is more of a success than the moon dough, just for the fact that she's touching it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mix in the bowl. Get a mixer, baby. You want to stir with this? Or stir. this? Stir, stir, stir. Stir just, this. Just stirring nothing. Go stir the bubbles. Stir this. There you go. It's quitting time. <laughs> On a normal day, you'd now be I headed home. Drink. <laughs> Patios do make me want to drink. <laughs> you have fun, Mixie. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> When it goes flat, they said you can just bring your mixer out and re-foam it and it will make more fun for more time. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, baby. So she poured the bubble foam all over, fell off the chair, but she's all right. She just fell through the chair. She didn't actually hurt herself. <laughs> Some of the soapy water went on sushi, so she got half a bath. Everly's nearly clean. I'm just kidding. We're going to bathe her tonight. <laughs> what are you doing, silly girl? <laughs> this handsome guy. He's milk drunk now and just so tired. I know. You need another nap, huh? we got some craziness over here. Woo! <laughs> She didn't realize the fence was so close. <laughs> you are correct. Oh, I just bonked her head pretty good. <laughs> oh, she fell while we weren't vlogging and skinned her knees on the concrete by our chairs. So she's got bloody knees, just bonked her head with a bowl. <laughs> are you okay, sweetheart? You're just a little crazy right now. Whoa. <laughs> well, this has been like a good 45 minutes of entertainment with the soap and now the bowl. Things are going well. <laughs> Except that she keeps falling and bonking her head with a metal bowl. Yeah, it's a very heavy hat, sweetheart. <laughs> Finishing our night with some coloring and then we're going to go take a bath. Mm -hmm, that's beautiful. Everly, can you wave and say bye to your friends? Bye. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Can you blow kisses? Good girl, you're so kind. Okay, we couldn't finish this vlog without telling you Everly's new word she just learned. What did you say about your knee? <laughs> Owie. Can you say it again? Owie. Owie. <laughs> Say owie. Owie. <laughs> what are you doing, silly girl? You want to show him your bobos? She fell when we were playing outside and skinned her knees pretty good on the concrete. So when we washed it and dried it, she said, owie. 
Owie. Owie. Owie. <laughs> oh gosh. You're the cutest. Okay, for real. Bye. Bye. Well, little lady, how was your first day teleworking? It had its ups and downs. <laughs> Mostly our daughter, the hold me and then put me down and then hold me and then put me down and then <laughs> hold me. The ups and downs. <laughs> over and over again. You'd be glad to do it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm then glad to work sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so today is the first full vlog that I've had no makeup on. I hope you guys still love me. <laughs> Usually I start the day with no makeup when we're vlogging and then I put it on at some point when the kids are napping or whatever. Today I thought about it at like 3 and I asked Nellie, should I put anything on? And she goes, it's already 3 o'clock. Like what's the point? You know, we're just going to shower in a couple hours anyway and take it off. So no makeup Lindsay all day. This is quarantine life, guys. Ponytail, no makeup, lounge clothes. That's just how it's going to be. Maybe you guys are in the same boat too. A couple of you commented on the last video when I asked about... Um, where you live and what the status is right now and said that you've only had makeup on or only gotten like really dressed once or twice in the last month. So I know we're not alone. <laughs> you are not alone. <laughs> is that from Free Willy? Yeah. <laughs> She's just saying you were not alone. That's Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can we add your chewing to the eating and sleeping montage that I want to make? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she... Did you catch me? You were... I don't know. You smell a whole lot like goldfish. And it's, you... not, it's not scratch and sniff. It's not 4D, 5D. I can out you. Uh, we talked about how she likes to snack, and today she was cuddling on the couch with Everly while we were getting ready to put her down for a nap, and she had had a bite of cookie and walked in here chewing, and anytime Ev sees you chewing, she wants whatever you have. Yep. More, More please more pleased she wants it and so Nellie was trying to be real sneaky about her cookie chewing and hide that she had anything she, she suspected it but she didn't know so when I stopped chewing and she looked at me she, she went <laughs> and then <laughs> I had a cup of coffee at the time so I was like oh you want some coffee and I tried to like hide it but she she wanted more, but she wasn't sure, and then she gave up on it, so I must have hit it pretty well. Was that nice? She goes, she doesn't have to be like me, do as I say, not as I do, but if you're a big snacker, it's know, only I'm fair. Trying to I'm, pr I'm trying to protect her. It's only fair that if you get a snack. I'm trying to protect her from the struggles I have. If she can learn to not eat a snack every 10 minutes, then good on her, because I am not that strong. <laughs> Try to help her be strong. She usually comes home from work and pulls something out of the cabinet while we're cooking dinner well, or whatever. I, I don't eat during the day. Like, I try I, so that I can have a decent dinner. Yeah. And when I come home, I She's mean, ravenous. I her off. Like. <laughs> so if she pulls down a bag of Doritos, Everly wants Doritos too because Mama has them. I'll so. share with her when she sees it like that. But if I just have, like, I'll bite a cookie. She saw you. <laughs> she did. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. Oh, here's Brooksy. He fell asleep. He's gonna say good night too. Say good night, Brooksy. Good night, guys. <laughs>